Hello, everybody. I'm Dimitri. That's Lexi. And we are Limitris. And these are the new pups. So there we have Vanellope. Uh, and yes, as you can see, we are streaming from our kitchen because over the weekend it was crazy raining and outside is super dirty. And these two pups, new pups of ours, they are still not used to us yet. Okay, so that is Elsa. She is the new crew member of Limitris. And this is Anna. Uh, they are Twinkies. Um, and then, of course, we have Belle here. <clears throat> Doesn't seem like the chat is still working. Um, I don't, it, it does. Hi, hi, Ali. Uh, so, uh, no peeing in the house. No. Grab, grab. Uh... <clears throat> okay, can you grab them both? So we're gonna show you. We're gonna show you how similar looking they are. So look at those two little Twinkies. Uh, Elsa. Elsa. <laughs> Anna. Yeah, I I can't tell them apart from looking at them at their faces. They have a little of uh, different spotting on their back. But yeah. Elsa. So. <clears throat> uh, because the, obviously these pups are ours, they're not going to anyone. Uh, we're gonna do these type of streams. If you have any questions about how to raise a puppy, any questions, uh, any troubles you're having, we'll try to answer them uh, as much as we can. So put those questions in the comments and uh, we'll go from there. And if you don't have any questions, awesome. So just enjoy the little Corgi happiness. Can you share in the group? Uh, and then just just in case see the uh, comments as well uh, so we are going to be keeping uh, we're going to be doing the live streams every Sunday at 7 p.m. central um, so that uh, you folks can keep up with all of our girls uh, hopefully next weekend it's going to be not super dirty outside so we can get everybody out uh, there's Vanellope chewing on Lexi's ear. Uh, yeah, so we went to. Can you turn it down just a little bit? Um, so we went to Missouri this last. from Wednesday. Wednesday through. We came back yesterday. Uh, so these two little cuties are from. Missouri um, yeah they were very good on their way back home Vanellope she was living with Belle outside so she went a little bit backwards on her training but still she is uh, very she recovered pretty quickly she is already very very dark on her back so that's what dark sables do Yeah. Hi Sherry, how's Grady doing? <coughs> oh, yeah, uh, so um, Vanellope, this is her. Uh, she, her mama is Tia and her dad is Flynn. And so she, not right now, she is wearing her mama's color when Tia was a little puppy. And it fits her perfect. Um, she is much quicker, oh, quicker, bigger then uh, glad to hear that Grady is doing well um, she's much bigger already than these pups uh, maybe you can tell like see if you can put them side by side <coughs> uh, <she coughs> and they are just a couple weeks apart and you can tell already the difference in their sizes so she's gonna be a really big girl yeah and this is Elsa Oh, good, good. Glad to hear that uh, Grady is responding well. <coughs> Ow! And then Belle, being Belle, it, while it was storming, 
um, this weekend, over the weekend here, it, it got like all the way around us got flooded and stuff. Well, I think she was just basically outside um, swimming because she was so dirty. And Vanellope is trying to get into her into that little hole behind the dishwasher. So yeah, this is Elsa. She has this little white on her back, <clears throat> and then Anna looks exactly like her, but doesn't have any white on her back. We need to find out it's B cell, which is better than T cell. Okay, so this B cell thing is it kind of like a less easier to get rid of type of cancer? Is that what it is? Hi. Hi. Kind of funnily, funnily enough. Anna, uh, she is like in the movie. She is much more kind of friendly and spunky and human. Uh, likes human people better. And then Elsa, she is kind of uh, all by herself. A little cold-hearted little thing. Are you a little cold-hearted little thing? Yes. Not as aggressive as, but they're awesome. Uh, do they have, uh, Sherry, do they have any, any, um, kind of like expectations, li lifetime expectations, anything like that, or? Like, ow! Hey, that's my, that's my, that's my toe. Oh, oh yeah, by the way. Uh, thank you everybody who subscribed to our YouTube channel. We finally got the um, name there. So now all of our videos go on YouTube and you can go to youtube.com slash Limitries and that's our channel. So again, thank you everybody. <laughs> no, it was this piece of cardboard. Oh, wait. Fiber. Yeah. Fiber. Yeah, some, somehow they figured out that, that that is a canned food and they just started chewing on that stuff. <gasps> Hi. <laughs> there we go. Lots of kisses from Belle and Vanellope. <laughs> yes, Belle. Yeah, I'll be my first born. I know, yes. Uh, Rachel, well, I guess two brand new mamas, so that's also, also Anna and Anna and Elsa and Vanellope, she is, she was, she used to be Agnes from our last Despicable Me, but yes, there are going to be three new mamas, yes. 14 months, I had my dust my sleep lessons. Oh, good, good, good. Um, yeah, so... Well, regardless, we'll, we'll, um, we'll come out and see you folks. I'm not sure when, um, but we'll come visit you somewhat soon. So yeah, there you go, Rachel. How is Zeus? Rachel has Zeus, right? You, got, you guys have Zeus, right? Uh, how's Zeus doing? Yep. Yeah. yeah, there you go. This is Elsa. Oh, oh, and then this is Anna. She's a little bit more red-headed. Uh, she doesn't have as much white. That's why we decided to name her Anna. And then, then there is Elsa. <clears throat> sweet, sweet boy Zeus. That eyeliner. Yes, they have a very different um, faces from any of our corgis which kind of you know makes sense because different bloodlines and stuff um, but yeah they are very different looking from any of our pups we ever had <laughs> 
by the way, little announcement. Uh, we are finally launching our Limitri's store. Uh, his little preview. So, uh, it's corgi glitter. Yeah, um, so this is, it's going to be just t-shirts for now. Um, and this is Belle. This is Belle. We did a little design some time ago. And finally we are getting the t-shirts in. I've got them different colors available. This one's going to have Limitri's logo on it. There's going to be other ones available without that. <laughs> She's posing. Lexi's posing. Uh, I also have one on. Uh, here, uh, show me. No, show me. I'll show you. So I have also a, uh, a line. Don't do that. Uh, one color. It's the same design and also logo there. So uh, put in comments if you would be interested at all in these types of t-shirts. Uh, the different styles and different colors and different materials and stuff um, so yeah um, let us know if uh, you're at all interested in stuff like that we're gonna have not just bell gonna have little puppies and stuff like that too <laughs> jessica Jess our, our jessica said me 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 <laughs> Well, you are being a little attention hog. We just bathed her. Oh man, so much hair came off of her. Like you can make a little puppy out of that hair. Bandanas for the dogs. Uh, I use this company that is, they have certain things that we can do with them and certain they don't. I know they have a little kind of like a, a t-shirts for dogs or whatever they call them, like a little shirts for dogs. I don't remember if they do bandanas or not. You know, you she, she, you're used to puppies? Oh, well, not on the back. She's the, she's the queen. She's the queen. You're the queen. All the recent pups gone home. Yes, Hamilton just went home like 15 minutes ago or so 30 minutes ago so yes all of the puppers are gone we only have only limitry screw right now um, cute. they are very very cute yes um, hopefully Merida is uh, Mer hopefully Merida is pregnant, pregnant. Uh, we when when is she going to the vet Tuesday? Yeah, so we're gonna hopefully find out on Tuesday if Merida is pregnant. And if she is, then she's, she should have puppies in about four to five weeks. <clears throat> T-Rex fight. Oh, my hands. <laughs> Do we know how many pups Belle is going to have? Belle? She's not pregnant. She's just fat. <laughs> she just fat. Yes. Um, because she's been with puppies outside. And puppies are in free feeding. So she was free feeding too. So she is, she is 38 pounds right now. And her normal weight is about 30. Um, so since the, all the pups are gone... She's going to be in in house with us on a diet. Uh, now, she should be going having puppies. Hopefully, I think July ish. I, I need you know what, Jessica. I need to check if they have kids T-shirts. That'd be super cute on Dinah. Like if they if they have any baby or kids products. They have like a 
30-ish products available for us. Uh, we did quite a few different designs. So they're all coming in, hopefully this week. I'm gonna do a little video announcement about it. Three T. I'll I'll check. I'll check what they got. If they got anything. Wait, what is it, Bailey? I want to do a little preview on live stream. <clears throat> yeah, we're also doing a little video series of how to raise an awesome pup, which we're going to be posting hopefully starting this week. Uh, we have a couple of videos shot already. One of them is how to trim their nails. <clears throat> Well, I guess we'll do a little preview now because we need to trim Honor and Elsa's nails. And I know that uh, a lot of you folks are afraid of doing clipping puppies' nails. All you have to do is just take your time and uh, don't cut too close. So just leave extra room well go go belly and yeah having two people helps also <laughs> really prefers the dremel uh yeah so <clears throat> folks if you didn't know <laughs> uh grady one of our one of the first pups we had, he has some um, uh, cancer and the easiest way to check for any signs of cancer is apparently to look at lymph nodes. Oh, he has lymphoma. Oh, he has lymphoma, sorry. So, um, check there's lymph yeah, nodes lymph, no lymph nodes are kind of on their side of their necks. So just feel them, see if they're big or not it's kind of like on the inside on the side of the leg <clears throat> and uh yes if you uh -oh. hey, don't bite her foot <laughs> that's not helping with the nail trimming well hold on hold on <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Ona and Elsa, they they, <laughs> they do look a little bit like a little bit like Corbin when they were a little um, Penny. Uh, the one, uh, let's see, Penny was who was she? Penny. Penny. Yeah. Penny. She was one of the um, serial killers. Oh, this, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, Frosty? Frosty. She, uh, we think she looked a lot like Corbin. There's that picture uh, from the very beginning of Corbin when he was kind of laying down, little looking sad. And that looked a lot like Corbin, <coughs> or sorry, like Penny. Penny and Corbin, yes. <clears throat> I didn't 
get you. I didn't get you. No. Ow. Ow. <laughs> You could. Did she get too close? She scare you, super scare you. Hi, Vanilla P. Oh. Corbin nail lining <laughs> yeah it's all about just getting them used to it and just kind of do it keep it keep it longer keep the nails longer and uh, getting them used to be on their backs so folks if you're one of our newer owners when you're watching TV or something some Netflix just give them like this on their back give them scratches yes Ivan these are they have these uh, Egyptian eyebrows <laughs> or not eyebrows eyeliner Egyptian eyeliner <clears throat> yes uh, 21st right uh, so you're dropping him off on 21st picking up on the 21st dropping off on the 5th 14th oh, oh okay Let's do a second one. Oh, uh, all right. So yeah, this is another thing. Where's the? There. You go. So for um, just trimming, it's not going to work really on um, for like any other shaving, but the paws. Uh, and you shouldn't shave corgis anyway. But if you ever do get it, then get these. It's like hard plastic or bone. And for uh, trimming the back paws, let's see if I can do it one handed. <laughs> so just again, get them comfort comfortable on the back. Get them used to the back of the. See, they're very interested. Okay, go little one, go. No, Vinyalpi, no. Right, give me, give me one. Oh. There you go. That's all it takes, just slowly. Oh, next one. And if I have two hands available, it would be easier. So yeah, having the plastic one or like the bone one, it just makes sure that you can't clip them, like you can't hurt them. There we go.
Here we go. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, tip yeah. Uh, indeed. Live grooming. <clears throat> yep. Now it's uh <laughs> she's all worn out. Yeah, a little tip for everybody. If you're uh, trim trimming nails, doing anything, like uh, even bathing, it's always better to do it when they're worn out. And these two were playing for quite a bit now. They just uh, are not as they're not fighting you too much. Uh, also, kind of a little tip, never do any of this stuff if you are in a bad mood, because if you're irritated, then you're more likely to clip him and then snap at them and stuff like that. And then Belle, of course, is trying to destroy a toy. Belle, why are you just try trying to destroy a little snowman? Take a little ball in his hair. Go, go Belly, go. go. Go play with Vanellope. Um, let me see. Bell, go, go, Bailey, go. <laughs> yeah, and we'll show you how we do <clears throat> Bell's nails. It's pretty much the same, just bigger clipper. And now she's used to it too, so she doesn't mind at all. Because we, we do this when she was little, we would do it maybe every other week or so. Just for her to get used to it. Okay, so a little, let me see if I can show you. Okay, so you see that little red inside the nail? You wanna stay kind of as far away from it as you can while still trimming the nails. So what I would do is probably cut about wait, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Trying to there you go. I cut about just the tip so that it's not anywhere close to the actual meat, you know, so that they're not afraid. <coughs> Just the tip, like as you can see, barely anything. <clears throat> and as you can see, she is being very calm about it. Not whining, not yelling. And sometimes even if they do, you kind of just need to kind of keep them in place. Don't hurt them, but because they need to know how to do this. Otherwise, your vet is gonna your vet is gonna hate you. <clears throat> All right, let's do a little trimming. Trimming. Mm -hmm. They're just not used to it, so they might be picking out a little bit. Are you okay? I'm not gonna hurt you. Does it tickle? Oh. Okay, so you see she's freaking out a little bit. All you do is just not let her get away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jessica, it's... um. And just getting them used to it when they are small. So now, since you have churro, do it. Do it yourself. And again, with nail trimming, 
the main thing is not to clip them. And with this, I mean, you can't really hurt them, like unless you get one of those really sharp ones with the metal stuff. Um, and again, just get them used to it as soon as, 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 as young as possible. It died. <laughs> uh oh, it died. Uh, let's see. Grady only gets his cut at the vet and he screams like he's getting leg cut off by a drummer at home with no problem. Yeah, dremeling is a little bit less. Um, it's easier, or I guess less of a chance that you're gonna clip him, of course. But it takes much longer. And yeah, so this is Belle, and she's, all, of course, all used to this. So. This little thing's not gonna do it. Uh, where is the big one? You wanna go get it? Yeah. Uh, let's see, Mr. Drama King. Yes, uh, we've had a share of those Drama King looking acting ones. Kyla doesn't mind it at all, and I think I'm the one who's afraid. Oh, yes. Yeah, you need to yourself kind of be. Um, not hyped up because dogs can feel the energy so you need to be just chill yourself uh ivan on that that's not necessary um unless the dogs have problems and typically especially in puppies especially with uh, like corgis they don't really have that problem um it's usually with smaller dogs or dogs that um, basically has to be, it has to be their um, physiology, like specific, specific, something not right. Because in, in like, in reality, dogs, de dogs express their glands themselves. Uh, it kind of happens automatically when they poop and stuff. So unless there's kind of something wrong, you don't really need to do it. When do you, when do you express the glands? Like, what's the usual cause or cause of it? Not, uh, not not with corgis, but like other breeds and stuff. I every dog is different. I mean, some dogs come come to the clinic and they need it like once a month. Some need it every three or four months. What does it depend so, on? The dog. Just the dog. Yeah, it, it differs from dog to dog. So it's, yeah, some, Usually, it's a problem with smaller dogs. Yeah. Yeah. And you can cause issues by expressing animal glands when you don't have to. There you go. Yeah. So just consult your vet about that stuff. Mm. There we go. So uh, this is going to be easier to show you guys because her nails are bigger. So there we go. Uh, let's see. So there's the meat. Don't get too close and kind of do just the tip of it. Maybe about this much all right so instead of doing going all the way here do about a third of that and just do it more often yeah and uh yes yeah, so bell now is used to it and let's give her belly rubbed yeah oh yeah uh, she's doing very well uh after her, what's it called? She had her surgery. No, what's the, what's the mammectomy? <laughs> what's it called? Oh, um, the, well, the, well, now that you asked me, yeah. mastectomy. Mastectomy, there you go. Yeah, we, she had some benign growths in her two top. Uh, they ended up just being like cysts. Boobies. So, uh, had to remove her top two nipples or 
mam, mam, uh, gland, what's it called? Milk glands. It's doing all good. She's still gonna have puppies. Um, it might be one of her last litters that's coming up. It depends on how she is, if she's gonna deliver herself or not. Because last time she had 13 in there and she had a really bad time. Oh, there you go, see? If you get your dog trained with cutting nails and all that, she just falls asleep. Give her belly rubs and she falls asleep. Yeah. Right, you're gonna be like that too, I know. Yeah. All it takes is just uh, repetition. <clears throat> all right folks uh, we're going to be wrapping up um, again uh, this stream is going to be we're going to be streaming every Sunday at seven o'clock if you have any questions we can answer them there we can show you how to do certain things you know maybe Quests. trim nails or whatever um, anything like that we can show you on the stream and so that you guys are just uh, aware of what's happening all right, thank you everybody for joining and we'll see you next time.